this is frankly easier than I had thought. Hey guys, it's me. Um, here at the backstage vlog. It strikes me that for a backstage vlog, I don't really know what goes on backstage in our show because I'm on stage most of the time. I think I'm off stage for like three minutes. A lot of people are asking me about backstage and I, I just, I don't, I don't know what to tell them because I don't have any idea what's going on backstage. So I'm sorry, I, I, I apologize for that. There's really nothing I can do about it. So anyway, um, enjoy the week. We'll see about that, Mr. Pinkham. So, Hi. we have hijacked Bryce's camera. Um, he's about to go on stage. Yeah. And uh, there's so much going on that he doesn't even know about. Yeah, there's a lot of secret rituals that happen backstage at John's Guide to Love and Murder. And we're gonna let you in on some of that magic. Hello. Uh -huh. Hey, what you, what you Eddie, doing there? What's, what's oh, going on? What, uh, it's, it's like, <laughs> everybody's not going to eat this. It's flying pig day, and I'm not going to be here, so I, he said I could have some of the food. Oh, hey, thanks, uh, Eddie. No, no, no. Oh. I, I just, but everybody's not going to eat. Like, well, I'm not going to eat all of it. I'll, oh, put, okay, I'll put this back. All right. Okay. Um, have a good show. Thank you, you too. Bye. Hey folks, this is the musicians' waiting area for when they're not in the pit performing the show. What Bryce doesn't know is, the whole time he's on stage, there's a full bowl of guacamole sitting right here, <laughs> listening to everything he's saying.
Kristen. What? See in the back one. In the back one. Oh, okay. Oh okay. No, no, wait, no, 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 I'm Bryce's spokesman, he doesn't need a television series, he doesn't need movies, he needs, yeah, I know it's all set, but he doesn't need that, we need to keep him here on Broadway, trust me, he, he, he agrees with this, he told me to tell you this, he told me to tell his agent this, and I'm telling you, right now, my name, my name, my name, Scarlett Strahlin, I can tell my name. Looking like a chicken. Oh yes. Everybody's waiting with their water. Ooh, a glorious applause. And now I'm in the way. Here they come. Fanning time. Oh god. It's fanning time. With the gorgeous Captain Walker. I can't even tell you how that takes about <laughs> Mostly what <vodka. laughs> Oh yeah. My character comes from Grumpy Cat. <laughs> what I enjoy about Cappy is her subtleties. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, sorry I couldn't give you a better view of backstage, maybe another time. Thanks for tuning in this week. Uh, before we finish, I just want to uh, ask you guys a few questions. You've been asking such great questions of me, I thought uh, maybe I'd take a chance to ask you a question that's uh, burning, a burning question in my head, which is uh, about theater. Here we are at the historic Walter Kerr Theater. I used to climb up and sing a song from right up here. The End of Foolish to Think used to be at the top of this set of ours. It's not anymore. Um, here is the trap door that Jefferson comes up through for the end of the show. Yeah, my question is about theater. I want to know why theater is important. I want to know what you get in a theater like this on Broadway, off-Broadway, or anywhere else for that matter, that you can't get anywhere else. You can't get on, on Netflix. No offense, I love my Netflix. Um, that you can't get in a movie theater, that you can only experience 
um, in a theater like this. I want to hear from you guys. Why is it important? Why does it matter? And uh, why should we keep doing it? Can't wait to hear your thoughts. And uh, we'll uh, see you next week. My favorite answers. Maybe I'll put them on the vlog. We'll see. All right, you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Away. All of this is frankly easier than I had thought. I've just come up at intermission and found something I, I think you all should see at my door. I thank you. I thank you for the chocolate. Thank you, Bryce, because it's so far away from my mouth. I don't Judy, know. what's wrong? I've, I've been shingled. I sat in my dressing room for too long. <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm dying. And I can't get this chocolate in my mouth. Do you need some? Uh, do you need Can some? you help sure, me? Please just, help just, me just... Yeah, sure. Ah, you thank go. you. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, Good luck. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Bryce. You're welcome. Thank you. Sometimes on a two-show day, it's whatever it takes.